So originally I was going to talk about uh, Starfinder's starship combat, but as I was going over the script, I was realizing there is a lot to it, and I don't understand it well enough. I like it, personally, but most players won't because of how clunky it is with just the core rulebook. But we've got the um, Starship Operations Manual that kind of clears things up. And then coming sometime this year, probably the end of this year, there's a basically Pathfinder Unchained for Starfinder coming out. So both of those I'm hoping will clear things up, but we're just gonna go on to what I was planning on my next video being. I'm gonna talk about, well, Conqueror Creations, the thing we're talk or we're creating in order to make our own tabletop games using our own systems. Right now, I'm working on a system, personally, I, well, me and my buddy, both call Saloon. It uses a deck of 52 cards, jokers included, and no dice whatsoever. I'm real close to getting to a testing point, actually. I think I'll probably be able to test it a week after this video goes out, which, if I get my way, will be March 7th, but, you know, that's not a guarantee. I want to talk about that for a little bit, because that's the one I know the best. We're also working on 9stat, which keeps getting reworked and reworked and reworked because we're realizing how complicated it is, and Maw, M-A-W which I ain't got a clue about, to be honest with you. I know enough about it, but I can't give any sort of description of it other than the setting being semi-Asian-based. Uh, now, like I said, the saloon game, it works off a blackjack system, you know, trying to get us close to 21 without going over. We realized that some states might have a problem with that, so we ended up creating our own form of deck, which that's... A long ways way but we still got most everything set up i still got to work on the creatures and all that and how to create your own creatures which really should be a fairly simple system it doesn't work off of hp or anything but instead a betting system really every hand or skill check or scene or however you want to call it it all uses the blackjack system get two cards, bet on them, then you see who gets the highest, pretty much. I've also got it set up where I want this game to be Weird West style. Now, obviously in U.S. history there were, you know, just freed slaves and some that weren't really free, but legally were. I want this game to be like my favorite genre of movies, the Old West. I go crazy for them, especially things like The Rifleman. That's one of my favorite go growing up. I want players to look at this and think, what would they do in a movie? I want things to be spectacular, not just, you know, realistic. In fact, realism gets thrown out the window hard. As I've written in abilities called ricochet and also breathe again, which yes, magic is used. So far, I've got, I believe, seven different types of creatures. Human, beast, undead, phantom, supernatural, cryptid, and one more that my mind cursed cursed creature i want each one to have its own distinction but there will obviously be a huge overlap for example phantom does that count as undead or no sometimes it will sometimes it won't it's a difficult system to really word unless i'm showing you how it works so i'm hoping someday soon I'll be able to make a trailer for Saloon and actually show you how it works. 
Problem being is I need people to come over and actually help me film that, and I need a camera that is an absolute jack in quality. No, I'm not going to ask anyone to help me out with that. I refuse to get help. You know, other than, you know, filming, but I know two, three people that will happily come over to help out with that. So, that's probably what I'm going to do when I do get to that point. Now, as I said, there is a betting system. It's not like how uh, normal casinos work where there are four to six different chip levels. It's one type of chip. You can use matchsticks if you wanted to. You could use pencils. You could use legitimate coins in your pocket, whatever you want. Everything is valued the same. One. One lucky is what we call them because when you run out, you run out of luck. If that makes any sense. It fits into that sort of movie sort of theme I'm going for here. Now, luckies can be used to bet on your hands in order to give yourself better rewards or possibly worse failures. They can also be used to activate certain abilities before you start your hand. Then there's ways, other ways to use them, like purchasing equipment, which I'm still trying to figure out defensive equipment. I think I'm going to end up avoiding that entirely because old west movies and all that but i do want to add a system of land ownership as well because you know everybody in the west wanted a little land whether it had gold on it or was just usable for farming every single character i plan on calling a trope you know like a movie trope so far i have got so many of them opening up the uh, thing right now just so i can scroll through it i have got as tropes to do the agent bounty hunter brawler courier detective explosives expert gambler lawman outlaw rancher ranger shaman trapper wilder and witch doctor and there are still more to come, and you don't even have to follow any of these tropes. You could just build your own character with the rules provided, and I did put in a rule set for how to create a character if you don't want to use one of the starting tropes. Each uh, starting trope has five skills and one ability, but you could legitimately make a character with only one skill and five abilities, or a mix thereof. of. Skills we got are bow combat, detection, explosives, gun combat, husbandry, lie, life magic, melee weapon combat, negotiate, physical magic, sciences, sneak, survival, Thrown weapons combat, unarmed combat, understanding, and weapons crafting. Am I going to go into any of that today? No, I'm planning on keeping this one rather short so that I can, you know, post it, yada yada, and work on this further. Now, like I said, I've still got a lot to do. i still got to fill in the creatures section, which will probably fill up a good three or four pages. I already have 24, and I haven't even put in the world lore part. It's going to be heavily based off of, like I said, Old West movies. But it isn't in America. I don't have to worry about, you know, the people that made Savage Worlds. I can't remember the name of the company. Book's right here. Savage Worlds. Is that really the company name? Oh no, Pinnacle. Or Studio 2. I think it's Pinnacle. I don't have to worry about Pinnacle suing me because I don't plan on setting it in the real world or overlapping with them at all other than it's a western setting with some magic. That's it. I'm hoping that the world will be interesting, but in all honesty, you could end up using the system to create your own. We do plan on using the Orc license, so everything is up to you, really. Well, I shouldn't say it that way. If you want to create something for it, you are at full right to do so. Not only are you at full right, I'm hoping to, you know, be able to promote it. 
I'm working on setting up a Twitter account for the company right now. I have created a Facebook, believe it or not, and even our own website, actually, which I will link down below. But for now, I'm going to get back to work, so all of you can just shove off. <laughs>